<coughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> I, I wanted to do something a little different today. Um, now there's a sample library company um, that has been around for a while, but they haven't really done much. Um, they've done three kind of small libraries, um, but I'm quite happy with them personally. Um, the solo violin one can sound a little fake sometimes, but um, and for what it is and the price, it's actually pretty good. Um, and these ones are cool too, but um, I'm going to go one by one and show you what they sound like. But first, I want to talk a little bit about the company. Um, so they have three libraries for sale right now. This one, usually 45, but it's been that way since the release, apparently. I mean, it seems that way. Um, and it's on sale for 15 bucks, basically. And then they have two piano libraries. Uh, this one's only a dollar. Um, but this one regularly fifty dollars is thirty dollars on sale and I definitely don't regret buying them so I mean they seem like a good company I don't know who Sam is um, but maybe we'll find out um, and if you go on the about me or about us um, simple is beautiful simple Sam um, so maybe his name really is simple Sam um, so they talk about uh, they want to you know get the source of the sample and they don't want to color the sound too much or pitch shift and all that stuff it actually sounds a lot like the um i guess mission statement of spitfire uh, where they don't you know they want the raw samples and if there's imperfections they keep them um so this seems like a similar company at least in their process um so i like that about them if they really do do that um which it seems like they do anyway uh let me we'll just go to to play on them a little bit then i'll tell you about things coming in the future from the company um because i found out a little bit but anyway i'll uh i'll play this one and there's a lot of uh tweaking that you can do with um uh, uh, filtering and stuff which with each specific string and it can kind of change the dynamics of of the the plane so you can change it depending on what you're doing what kind of sound you want but I'll just play it right out of the box or I won't better if I played a little better. Thank you. 
So yeah, that's, I, I think it sounds better than I remember. I haven't played with this thing in so long. Um, so here you can tweak with stuff. Um, I'm going to see what this sounds like. Try to mess with this a little bit. And you can change the volume for each string. I want these to be a little low. So I'm going to make the, the middle strings stand out a little more. Whoops. I'm going to add some reverb. All right. sounds. Kind of get a dark tone there. Um, let's try the opposite. Gosh, I keep moving it. That wasn't very good, <laughs> but you know you get the idea. Anybody who, you know, I would probably have to mess around with this more to get the sound I want. Um, probably more people who who are better with sound design would probably be able to get something more quickly. Um, but yeah, right out right out of the box, it sounds pretty good. Um, oh gosh, I hate this. I can't see this. I have to move it blindly. So that's that, and I think that sounds pretty good right out of the box. Like I said, um, now let's hear the vintage toy piano. Remember, this one's only a dollar. So um, if you have some reservations about the other ones, you know, I understand. But this one, I mean, it's a dollar. Um, and there's. Um, as far as I remember, instrument presets. So I just opened the the default one. There's a lot of stuff here. I'll go through some of them. just the the default preset beautiful dreamer I'm gonna mute this okay Debussy dream. Carousel.
far east, so let's do some pentatonic scales here. So that's, you know, quite a few of the presets. I mean, it's only a dollar, so that one's pretty much a no-brainer. Um, now, this is the Vintage Upright, and this is the most expensive one at $30 on sale. Um, and let me see if there are any presets for that one. 
And, uh, well, it has uh, room, main, and close. I have the room one open, and we'll see how that sounds. <laughs> sound like that's the biggest size preset let's see <laughs> it's the library or if it's something with my MIDI settings but when I play a lot of notes at once some of them kind of it's like they <laughs> fast there but a lot of the notes were not making any sound um, that might be something with my settings um, and I don't feel like figuring that out right now um, and I don't see what it would be though I mean the maybe the number of voice voice voicing um, voices allowed or something I don't see anything for that in contact settings. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but um, perhaps if I try a different library and it does the same thing, and then I'll know it's my setup. But let's just hear what the um, the close setup sounds. <laughs> So it didn't seem like it had the problem with the MIDI um, cutting out with certain notes or the samples not playing um, with the close mic. So I don't know if there's something with the settings, the default settings on the, the main mic. Or well, yeah, that, that might be what it is. Um, the close mic, main mic, room mic. Um, so maybe there's something with that one for some reason maybe my system can't handle it because it is the larger preset but or maybe it's something with the settings that they had um, but I didn't have that problem with the other ones or at least with the close mic um, but yeah if you're interested in be sure to check it out they're not going to break the bank especially the vintage toy piano um, and I said that I, I would show you the things they have coming up now this is the, the email response I got. Um, I, I pasted it in a um, sticky note because there's too much sensitive information if I did it the other way. Um, so thanks for your interest in our products. We are hoping to finish our Legato violin soon, which will be free a free update for existing owners of Paganini. The programming and scripting is the most difficult part in getting the sound right. But once we have the per that perfected, we will release cello and viola libraries. A nice harp library is also in the works. Thank you for your patience, and we'll keep you updated. Garth. I wonder if that is Sam. Maybe that's his last name. Maybe it's Sam Garth. I don't know. Um, so I, I'm intrigued because um, I like their stated philosophy. Um, and I am pretty happy with the libraries they already have out. Um, they have a natural, like they said, they do have a natural sound to them. Um, the, so I'm kind of, kind of looking forward to this, and they're probably going to be reasonably priced based on their other ones. Um, so yeah, keep, you know, keep checking them out, and you know, might want to check. If you're if you like the Paganini one, I might want to get that because it, it says it will be a free update for existing owners. So I don't know if you don't get it before then, um, you know, if and, and it ends up being a good library, you might have to 
pay full price for that. Um, so if you do like Paganini, I'd pick it up. So then you could get a free update for the upcoming one. Um, but anyway, uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching.